Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for June 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is a no contact reading for you guys. We are going to take a look at the person that you are in no contact with to see if it's a good idea for you for, for you guys to reach out to this individual. And what will happen if you do reach out to this person, apply this to your own new situations, okay? Um, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the link's for those are in the description box below support me on there too so tell me about oh geez virgo the person that virgo is in no contact with is it a good idea for virgo to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for june 2024 sun rising venus signs for virgo for virgo for virgo So we have the Two of Cups in the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. If anything, I feel like this person might reach out to you. Uh, someone here is curious to see if you're in a relationship with somebody else here. Okay. Um, whoever this is, you know, I do feel like this person is definitely making a decision whether to come back to you or not. But I feel like this person wants to do things the right way. Kind of like one of those things, I feel like this person is curious to see if you're in a relationship with somebody else. You know, if this person finds out that you are, I feel like this person will leave you alone because I feel like at the end of this day, I feel like this person does want you, want you to be happy here. Now, if this person was exploring other options here in the past, this person's dropping all those options to be with you because I feel like this person's definitely looking for a second chance here, looking for a reconciliation with the Judgment card and the Two of Cups. And if you look with the Hierophant here, this person's making some big promises here. This person's realizing that their loyalty is with you here, Virgo. Okay? Tell me the chariot here. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? The chariot and the justice card. Libra energy. Tell me the six of wands here. Why is the six of wands here? And we have the star card. I do feel like someone here wants to commit to you. Someone here is making some big promises. I feel like this person's in love with you. They're having a hard time letting you go and moving on from you. And they feel like this person's missing you a lot. Okay. And they do want happily ever after here with you with the Ten of Cups here in the Star card. This person's seeing you as their wish fulfillment. They are seeing you as their bright, shiny diamond in the sky or something like that. Uh, but do you feel like whoever this is, this person's spying on you to see where you are at in life. And I feel like this person is trying to figure out, is it safe to approach you? Is it safe to call you, uh, message you, or DM you or something like that? Okay, so let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Virgo and the, pers and the person that they are in no contact with? For uh, June 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have the Sun card in the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. With the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo again. And the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups here. You know, I feel like this person's serious about wanting to work together as a team and bringing this relationship back together. But, you know, with the Eight of Cups here, you could be walking away from this for good here, uh, Virgo. Yeah, I, or that you could just be in this energy of like, you know what, I'm just not really emotionally invested into this. I can't give to this anymore. I have nothing more to give. You know, this person's really serious about this. Ten of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles. I mean, they're gathering all their resources to make this happen here. I just feel like this person does not want to want this to be over. I just feel like this person wants to, you know, kind of like a, a do. They basically want to do over here with you. They want to do it right this time. 
okay? But I just feel like you just don't have the energy to do that anymore. Tell me the, uh, 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 the Sun card. Tell me the Sun card here. Why is the Sun card here? The Sun card and the Three of Swords. I do feel like this person is going to be heartbroken of your rejection here. I do feel like you're still healing from this, uh, this uh, healing from, uh, you know, the situation with this person where you got your heart broken by this person. And I feel like you're still trying to move on from it or that, you know, you're still angry about the situation. So for you, maybe it's just not, it's, you know, it's not the right time to talk. We have the Empress here with the Empress, the Empress. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Hangman. We have the Four of Wands here. I feel like here's the thing. I feel like you might tell this person to go screw themselves, but I feel like this person will get the best of you here. Yeah, I do feel like, you know, this person threw the ball in your court and I feel like you're trying to figure things out here. But I do feel like, I do feel like you guys are going to give this a chance, uh, at, you know, at some point, not right now, but at some point here. With the Queen of Swords, Leap or Aquarius, Gemini, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I do feel like you guys will have a conversation here. I do feel like you guys will have a conversation here with the tens here. You know, something did end here, but I get the feeling that there could be a new beginning that's happening. Yeah, there could be a new beginning that's happening here, Virgo. What else do we have here for Virgo with the Nine of Cups? Some here is seeing you as a wish fulfillment. Some here is in love with you, okay? I do feel like some here is definitely coming back in to clear the air, uh, to give you some sort of clarity here, okay? I do feel like this person does want victory and success here with you. With the Kings and Queen of Swords, by the way, with the uh, Empress as an Empress, this is a true pair. This is a true pair. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of this person getting the best of you. Yeah. I do feel like we have someone here that's really stepping up to the plate and really just being serious <laughs> about this offer here. And I see this actually coming back together. Yeah, I actually see this coming back together here, Virgo. And I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you might be shocked of, of your actions because I feel like you're willing to give this a shot. When I feel like maybe you made a final decision that you won't go back on the decision that you're making here. And I feel like you're just kind of going for it, Virgo. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else do we have here for Virgo? We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Hill, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Queen of Wands here. Could be a situation that a third party got in the way here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And a third party could have gotten in the way here. Perhaps they don't no longer want the third party and they want you. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to get the best of you. Here's the thing. Now, let's say if you waited around for this person to separate and divorce another relationship to come back to you, this person's finally doing it and they're going to get the best of you here. Okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.